Hello everyone. Aap hain Riya ke saath on Mana TV International. You can watch us live on Yup Network and can subscribe to our Facebook channel and YouTube channel as well. Welcome to yet another episode of Healthy Habits. It's one thing to be healthy at home. There is that comfort zone. That's a place that we already know and we already go. You can shop or dine at the same spot. There may be that familiar uh, gym or work spot where you always go. or there are those running trails that you frequently go time to time but what about when you are away from home what about when you are traveling for work school or pressure what about when you are visiting an out of town friends and family what if you are outside that comfort zone but you are still forced to create a new routine change can be scary isn't it but it doesn't have to hold you back and that's what when i say Tips and tricks can do wonders. So, चलिए दोस्तों बात करते हैं आज के टॉपिक पर हेल्दी हैबिट्स अवे फ्रॉम होम हमारे साथ हैं डॉक्टर प्रतिभा फाटके गुप्ता प्रतिभा जी इज अ पी एच डी इन बायो केमिस्ट्री शी इज अ बोर्ड सर्टिफाइड होलिस्टिक एक्सपर्ट एंड अलिस्टिक एंड ड्रगलेस प्रैक्टिशनर वेलकम प्रतिभा इट्स सो नाइस टू हैव यू हियर अगैन Thank you, Ria. Thank you for inviting me over to this beautiful um, stage for Mana TV International. I'm very excited about uh, discussing with you the best episode again. So, Pratibha, we all know we have to go away from home time and time again for various reasons. It sometimes becomes very hard to maintain the same routine while we travel. So, what are those well-known healthy habits that we all should follow that outside home and travel? very good question riya and i think i would tell you that you know um reason why i'm saying is that because um men women children students everybody travels for their work or for their school right so if you are a, a man and you are traveling weekly basis or monthly basis then for i'm going to talk about first for the men purposes usually what happens you know in a population of men usually when they travel and they try not to pack up anything which is basically you know um your food have food, food related things mm-hmm. and if you are flying then i'm i'm sure you probably are not going to be you know traveling with the food uh, while you when you're flying but if you're driving you certainly can and if you're flying then you definitely and if you're a man you definitely should when you stay in a hotel wherever try to find some hotels where they have a cooking facilities or airbnb where you can have some you know things like that and if you're traveling for about weekly basis for example if you're for work purpose of a whole entire week then definitely you should choose a place where you can think of you know where you can make some your breakfast or a little short you know in a short time you can make something some preparations for yourself because believe me trust me you know uh, when you're rushing to your work in the morning even if you are away from home you are still tensed because you are not you know having a normal environment at home so you'll be tense so it's better to have something right when you uh, when you start your day when you start your day so at least you have some breakfast or maybe you go to airbnb where you have some facilities there so it will be a little extra money but it is worthwhile mm-hmm. second thing also is that when you come home you're not going to be checking in checking out when you are airbnb so what happens that you can go and sleep wherever you want to sleep things like that and uh, you will have a facility there as well so and also sometimes you can carry something dry food as well with you you know the snacks or a food bars or something that is more healthier you know options mm-hmm. for you to choose that right and um, then also uh, and if you have if you're staying for more than one week then you can go to nearby grocery stores where you can buy little stuff like that you know so they can get prepare your meals because ideally during the pandemic time as well when you go to restaurants you know sometimes you don't know the newer places and it's by searching you know restaurant here here and there you waste a lot of time you know and then you get frustrated some restaurants are open some are not and there and you may not have a proper choice of your food then you end up buying the food which you don't even like it sometimes you do like it sometimes you don't but you get more kind of uncomfortable and also um, and if you that is related to the food items right and also if you are like staying in a the hotel then definitely you won't have any of these kind of facilities but there are some hotels they do provide these facilities as well mm-hmm. now especially in the pandemic time and make sure that you have something at least 
something basic things that you can you know use for on a daily basis and also i you know i don't know uh, whether people like this idea or not but if you are a religious person you can have some like you know prayer service or prayer books or something that give you a little bit peace of mind because you are away from home and you don't know exactly and give some some break to your lifestyle as well relax a little bit you can do a stress reliever in the hotel room as well you know a little meditation can be a good good sense of like a relaxing there because you worked all day and you don't have anybody else there too and i would highly recommend not to watch television while you're sleeping because if first of all you don't have a convenient place in a hotel or wherever you are and then you know having something pleasurable thing you know watching television things like that because i've seen a lot of people try to fall asleep while watching the television mm-hmm. believe me not trust me it doesn't help because the next day morning you have to get up again and then your day goes by because you did not sleep well so the next day gets very very exhausting right so and also uh, make make sure you have a schedule right you know schedule means create your schedule you know I, even though you don't have but still you know wake up time because you're going for a weekly basis if you're a female person then in another story as well so carrying something very very you know uh, important in the sense for example you make up kits right you know makeup mm-hmm. kit sometimes you know like a short you know small uh you know makeup kit which can be utilized while you're flying or when you are in a hotel room so you don't have to carry extra stuff right sometimes what happens you know your makeup stuff sometimes you leave it at home and believe me not trust me even if you're in a hotel room the kind of stuff they have that may not be applicable to you you may have some skin rashes or maybe something mm-hmm. like so better carry your stuff you know and uh, ideally you know if you are uh, traveling and all the three 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 important things you should always carry in your credit card and some cash money and all, of course your uh, driver's license whatever you have and nowadays you should carry your uh, vaccine you know card as well because sometimes mm-hmm. you need it you know uh, at different different places i mean you never know but it is okay to carry mm-hmm. those things as well and uh, again peace of mind is more important and also create a day routine as well so since you are you are not at home you are in a hotel or you are airbnb whatever it is you know and i'm not promoting airbnb i'm just giving the example of because there are some convenient places for your choices to select from and uh, you know even carrying a small little purse for with a little mind you know things for example your mask right mask is mandatory you can carry mask all the time maybe pack of mask sometimes you know the disposable mask are better keep it those thing handy a, a small little pen or you know and a little cash money and something for munching and you know and nowadays they have a you know um the little, little snacks for example like corn flakes or you know puffed rice those are the something that you can you know get by in case if you don't get a chance to eat those are little things you can do and uh, also you know as i said you know um, and if you are a, a, a student who are traveling then it's a different story as well because sometimes we don't think about cooking or doing something like that so you can have some cash money or some things and you can go when you're when you're going to buy something try to choose something which is more more beneficial nowadays people start to i mean no even if you are away from home there are some little stores where you can buy some like you know nowadays they have a lot of good stuff for example like chips of uh, you know um, you know uh, different different type of how their chips are available and food bars are available the fruits mm-hmm. and the vegetables and uh, ideally you can buy bananas when you are traveling right there instead of going to a gas station and buy something like coke and pepsis and things like that you might as well choose something more you uh, know appropriately a water uh, can yeah. you know whole case of water in your in your room because i may not suggest that you know water from the tap may or may not be you know uh, a good choice you know and also every uh, i tell you one thing you know and then if you have if you are in a hotel room you have to buy one bottle you know you may have to pay mm-hmm. four times more expensive water so why yeah. worry about that so those are little things you can have and also uh, again planning your dresses right dresses correct now what happens when you don't have uh, you know iron there and you're running rushing you know or rushing like you know to go to work or go to mm-hmm. meet somebody make sure you have a nice dress you know and iron dress or something or maybe a uh, carry some dress which does not need an ironing you know when you travel with that and uh, little jackets for business purposes if you're going and uh, another thing is that hair right so sometimes you know and if you're not uh, uh have some hotels they do have hair dryer sometimes mm-hmm. they don't have it you know so carry a hair dryer with you as well you know 
a little small little kit like which can be which can have like a small compact kit i like to have a compact packing you know and in one of those episode i can show you how to actually compact folding things to make sure that you are in a smaller a suitcase how you can pack multiple yeah. things in there something and another thing shreya uh, shoes and you know things like that you know buy some shoes that does not need like a polishing things like that even if you do uh, you can have a little bit oil you know like oil in a cotton okay. and you can use a cotton oil and you can wipe the shoes it shines really well and you can take a paper towel and shine back again so you're all good to go with that and another thing for ladies you know ladies i think you know the purses are very important right so you can have a purse which is when you're traveling you know for your office purposes make sure you have some nice good purse which does not have a load of thing in there maybe should very minimum things in their purse because what if you have to open in front of your you know, office mates and things like that it doesn't look nice yeah? so keep those things separate and uh, again and also one more thing i forgot to mention that you know have a you know there are some like suitcases uh, which are not a soft suitcase these are called as a uh, something uh, material like a polyvinyl material mm-hmm. which is more like a nicer and uh, weather control things like that you can use those things too so that those are good and uh, for traveling purposes so you don't you know kind of you know get into a situation where somebody is going to break your suitcase things like that mm-hmm. and uh, compact packing is more important carry with less things in there but again also uh, and also if you get bored you can have some fiction non fiction books with you as well so at least you can give yourself a little break right and uh, sometimes you know i carry a little bit of your uh, you know uh, something that you like you know if you are staying for too many days a little if you are liking a painting or something little small little things that you mm-hmm. can entertain yourself you know Right. So um you know and back to you Rhea I believe you know I'm sure you probably will be traveling as well so um do you have any idea that what you do usually you know when you travel and maybe I'd like to know about you as well No definitely and there are like definitely good 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 tips that you have given to start the travel um obviously like you know when once we are out Pratibha obviously like you no know, we eat out most of the time unless and like you know again yeah, the way you said we get we and airbnb with cooking facilities in there but most of the time like you know in the hotels we do not have that so in that case we eat out so yeah. what are uh, do you suggest any specific menu items that people should for, should like you know choose from the big list of menu items in the hotels for lunches and dinners that like you know while travel will not affect our health and like you know would be beneficial um, while we are out of home Okay, um, Ria, the the question you asked was a very very normal good question. I recently had a very good experience that you know when you go to any uh, place like out of town, you can actually Google it. There are a lot of places. Maybe you can go to local stores, and mm-hmm. or maybe um, in places where they have the home cooked meal can be delivered to you. Or if you are very close by, you know you can walk to the places where they they offer uh, something like a buffet meal. You know, in a buffet meal, you are not obligated to. you know eat something that you don't like and you will eat only the thing that you like right and avoid something fatty food you know something you know, you know chips related and something which has more um, you know soupy material so mm-hmm. your digestive system can be better right and ideally i've seen that a lot of people go and um, buy some sandwiches and things like that and sandwiches may be good for as a travel food but ideally not for digestion purposes because you don't want to get sick when you are in a hotel room and if you are yeah. going to hotel room then definitely you're not you're not going to be more comfortable right mm-hmm. so and also uh, one more thing you have to carry with you uh, you know food choices are great but at the same time travel with the small little medicine kits you know in the yes. medicine kit basically should have something like you know aspirin or something tylenol and something like a bandaid a little bit of like you know small cream and uh, something something that is more like if, or if you are taking any medications they should be carry with you uh, with the label and everything because chances are you always will forget that right and i yeah. usually recommend people to uh, get those uh, you know those uh, toothpaste and uh, toothbrushes they come in a pack up together it like small short package which can be kept in the purse because if you are going for a meetings and uh, and if you are eating the food which comes of garlic or onion ginger or whatever it is you know and it doesn't look nice so you go, can go and and you brush your teeth before you go but there's something called oral oral rinse actually mm-hmm. those comes in a form of like a small little containers and you okay. can just rinse your mouth with that which can be mm-hmm. good as well but i would yeah. not recommend 
chewing the chewing gum while you're in the meeting like that. Mm-hmm. That is a little professional, but your and your face looks should should be more uh, fresh. And these are little things you can pack, right? And another thing I pack mostly in that sense is like, you know, like a safety pin or like something related to a sewing kit, actually. Um, you know, you, it's, it's a very good thing. You know, you never know. Sometimes what happens when you are, uh, you know, getting dressed up and all of a sudden you see there is a button is missing and or mm-hmm. something, you know, uh, those little things, you know, and then you might need the help at that time and mm-hmm. you don't have it. So basically you can carry the sewing kit as well. And ladies, if you have something, for example, if you have a nail care kit, something like that, you know, nail polish or you know something, you know, you should carry that, you know, a, a nail polish remover. And those are can be can go into the check-in, right? So you can mm-hmm. always. So what I mean to say is that don't have to be uh, make, making an excuse that because uh, I am working from you know away from home, so you don't have to look good, but you should because you don't make complain about it. You know, have a complete kit basically. Yeah. And I actually have a a kit which has a compartment, you know. So it, you can label label it, you know, like you know, uh, for example, you know, um, you know, ladies, you know, uh, they have a uh, lingerie or s- socks or uh, pantyhose, things like that. So there is a like a pack, like it's a compact folding pack comes in, you know. There's available uh, in the store also. It becomes more like a packing, you know, complete small little packs. So you can open up and hang it onto the onto your wall, right? So you yes. have everything completely organized, you know your uh, lingerie or your socks or your pantyhose your jewelry your uh, mm-hmm. everything you know in one complete pack so you just fold it and take it so usually i keep you know if you are traveling on a regular basis you can keep that thing ready all the time so you don't mm-hmm. have to move every time you don't rush 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 and good thing is that if you are washing the laundry and i would definitely definitely recommend i'm sure it may, it may it may look like a little bit like you know uncomfortable for listeners to listen uh you know this thing what i'm going to talk about mana tv international in the audience that you know are most of the time what happens you know when you're for one or two weeks you're staying there your laundry gets accumulated right mm-hmm. and what i would definitely remember you know um, if you have underwears you know you should wash on a daily basis uh-huh. so that becomes more un, like uh, unpleasant for you right so other clothes that you have that can stay back, you know, later on, you know, you can wash or, you know, you can do the laundry later on by that. But those things can be important. And the towels, you know, you don't use the towels like, you know, uh, you know, every day, new towels. So it'll be loaded towels. So try to accommodate that as well. And uh, again, you know, um, keeping your mind straight, you know, and not to stress too much, because if you if you are adopting that lifestyle that you are traveling, you're working, so you have to like it. You can't complain mm-hmm. that, you know, I'm like tired because this is your lifestyle you chose. So might as well like it, you know, so that way at least you have a good positive mental, you know, thing in your mind that this is my lifestyle. So I have to like the thing because you are getting paid for those things. So might as well like it, have a pleasant smile, pleasant way, so you can accommodate everything very, very simply. And another thing is that, you know, if you're a female person and you you have a professional dress code, I would definitely have some like, you know, light colored or something like a, not a printed material because most, most of the business, uh, you know, uh, related places where when you're wearing a jacket or a blazer or a suits. So for females, I believe you, you can try only the light colors, but uh, not, uh, you know, not a printed ones. And, uh, and especially the jewelries as well, you know, try to have something which is not a dangling earrings, like right? mm-hmm. something like that I'm wearing, like these kind of things that uh, does not give like a feeling of maybe dangling ones mm-hmm. so things, things away from home. And those are not very, you know, and those are a couple of them you can pack, you know, with you. Right. So that way, you know, you're looking good. You're completely presentable. For men, the same way, you know, if you're uh, getting your suits, make sure you have a garment bag, you know. There's some special garment bag comes in there too. So you can get your iron and they put it in there, you know, and, mm-hmm. and pack it up. Now, this Ria, there's a one thing called a very small, sleek uh, iron comes in. It's a very small, very sleek iron that has a steam into it. So, okay. and you know, and you, it has a, and then when you turn it on, it it heats up very easily. And it is so sleek that, you know, it goes right into your sleeves and arms also to iron it. And mm-hmm. when, you, when you keep this thing, and it takes very a couple of minutes to iron those clothes as well. So those are little things you can pack. And also, you know, um, it may look again, you know, a little bit unpleasant, you know. Sometimes, you know, you forgot to make your nails, you know, better. 
So nail clippers are good to keep it with yeah. you. Yes. So that doesn't look awkward, right? You know, when you are not there like that. And again, also, for example, you, you know, if you are, you know, uh, coloring your hair, so make sure color your hair before you leave for traveling. Or if not, then you can get things done there too as well, because you may or may not get a chance to go to salon or things like that while you're working there, yeah. right? And the last thing I'm going to tell you about that, you know, work for exercise, right? So if you are there for one week, what do you do with that, you know? So nowadays, Aria, it's not very mandatory that you have to find a, you know, a gym and things like that. There are so many mm-hmm. things you can do right on the spot. The mm-hmm. spot jogging, spot walking, uh, you know, yoga, meditation. Those mm-hmm. things can be apl- apl- applicable. And they can do like a spot walking, you know, spot like a brisk walking for four, three, two, one minutes, you know, which we can, you know, adopt, you know, as daily habits. And mm-hmm. also you can sit on the floor and do some floor exercise, right? And you can stand and you can do... And uh, worse converts, if you want to make a little bit like, you know, weight, uh, you know, management, things like that, you can you can get those uh, water bottles, you know, and put your hand and then you can use for mm-hmm. your muscle stretching, things That's like that. And uh, another thing, Ria, this is what called like a stretch bands. Okay. Mm-hmm. The stretch bands are where, while you're watching television, you can use those stretch bands. There are some stretch bands like comes like in you know, for your hands and for your legs. So you're all good thing is that while you are away from home make sure your health is important because there's exactly. nobody's gonna look at you there's nobody gonna take care of you and you cannot miss your work right if you do then it's a different story so might as well plan it ahead of time and back to you Ria. i hope i made little sense to people no no audience. definitely uh pratibha like you know a lot of information for people who are traveling for work so we have tons of information now for um like you know people uh, for working or single travelers but what about like you know if you're traveling for vacation and most of the time those vacation travels are with family we have exactly. like kids with us so what are those healthy habits that you would refer if you're traveling with kids like you know um starting the travel and basically in the travel like you know when we are there out um outside our home with like say a toddler and a teenager or like you know we have like two or three kids together so what do you suggest on those cases very nice, good question. I think I love this, you know, because I have done a lot of times traveling with children. Many, many years I've done that. And long drives, actually, long travel. So I have done mm-hmm. that. So uh, you'll be surprised that if you go to the truck stops, they have those uh, uh, cooking pots and pans, which can mm-hmm. go uh, like, uh, you know, a uh, gas lighter. You know, the lighters that you have in your car. In your, in your car. It, uh-huh. can, it can warm up very easily. So mm. you can use that and you can actually make soup while you're driving. You can, mm-hmm. you can warm up the milk while you're driving. And and in fact, you can make, and if you're traveling by the car, then you can have a cooler with you, you know? Right. And the night before, you can have a frozen food, something like, you know, bread. And if you're Indian families, you can make all those chapatis and parathas. That can be very useful for that. And nowadays, you can make a lot of like snack foods, you know, the snack materials you can carry with you. And, you know, adapting the habit is more important. Mm-hmm. Children, some people say, like, for example, ch- children will say, I don't like this. Like, well, let's go. Why not? You know, cutting some carrots, you know, cutting carrots in a plastic Ziploc bag and a green, uh, you know, uh, green uh, vegetables. Right. Mm-hmm. And uh, broccoli is your, um, you know, uh, grapes, uh, different multicolored grapes, multicolored, you know, green peppers, orange pepper, red peppers. You can cut in small pieces right. and put in Ziploc bags, put in your cooler. You can keep one by one you get hydrated as well and you don't mm-hmm. have to go to the bathroom, right? So you don't That's have to go to the bathroom. So we, you'll be hydrated and you have, you know, more, uh, you know, uh, time in the, and you don't have to stop every restaurant, right? Because you see, the reason why I'm saying this, Ria, because in the pandemic time, you don't want to go every different spaces. You don't want to go to the bathrooms. You want no. everything because you don't want to contaminate yourself because now yes. you're very, very cautious about it, you know? And, uh, you know, drive throughs are the worst thing in science because, you never know what's going to be given to you. You have no idea, right? And I would definitely not uh, recommend having drinks and stuff like that from outside. Carry your water bottle. And one more good tip I can give you, Aria. Sometimes what happens, you don't have a place to wa- wash your hands, right? Because you don't stop everywhere, right? So what I usually do is that you, I keep the ice cubes in my bag, in uh-huh. the cooler, right? So you can take one ice cube in your hands and you can just keep it rolling oh, in your yeah, house. Yeah. It, it just melts in there and use mm-hmm. a paper towel. Right. Mm -hmm. And then you can have your disinfectant or you can have a, you know, you know, fresheners or things like that. Small little towel. You can use that. And I usually use I usually carry something, for example, you know, instead of a paper towel, have a small actual 
cotton towels, which wipes faster and you can keep it away. So you can uh -huh. watch it later. So you can consume less, you know, uh, environmental, you know, safe because a lot of paper towels are used and that's not good for, you know, environment as well. Environment. So that is good that, so I usually do that, I'll give you a little tip that, you know, I take my ice cube and put in my hands like that so that it just uh, wash my hands. Mm -hmm. And I use a cotton towel and wipe your hands and put it away and it can dry out later on because you it's your own hand so you can reuse it later on also, right? So those kind of little things for washing hands while you are traveling and eating the food. And uh, and also one more thing is that if you're traveling in the car with the children, you can have a breads and stuff and all the slices mm -hmm. of cheese and uh, lattes and all the things to make a sandwich right in the car, right? right. While you are, right. and you can make it. And in fact, you know, like and there are some tray available which can stand right behind your, uh, you know, um, the car seats, right? Behind the back of the seats, you have there is a there is they are available in many of those uh, uh, websites. You can have so you can pick just like a travel in your in your plane, right? You can have your tray like a travel tray and have the people. It will it will really look so uh, you know uh, yes. uh, what is interesting for children basically. Yes. They have their own plate, their own thing. And also, if your children are under five or six years old, or maybe a little bit uh, like people who are more like, you know, they get so uncomfortable. So you can have, you know, coloring kits with them, you know, or music with them or something related to it that can they can occupy themselves as well, you know, so they're not getting bored. Okay. Another thing no, that is, is that, very important, actually, because on, on vacations, it becomes absolutely. very, very important. Like, you know, that on the while we are driving, like, you know, we don't get that and questions from them. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Exactly. So, exactly. Um, amazing information, uh, Pratibha. A lot of good information. Hopefully we are able to help our viewers and help them to plan ahead, uh, like, you know, and make their travel good exactly. and help them to stay happy and healthy while they are traveling. Thank you, Pratibha. Um, we definitely would love to have you back again on the next show. Guys, we'll be are, uh, coming back with more and more good, healthy topics for you. And we'll be um, you know, talking to Pratibha every time. So thank you, Pratibha. We are it's so nice to have you again back. Uh, Ria, I have a good question for you, okay? And special this question for the audience of Maya TV International. So what we just talked about today, if our audience can send some some tips or some experiences, what we just talked about today, that what did they follow? And have their own story to you and send it to you and see how they have implemented this, what we talked about here. And did they get help anything from there and have their experiences? That would be really interesting. So I would definitely like to see if our audience can send to you to Mana TV International that how they have experienced those things what we just talked about. Thank you, Ria, and thank you, Mana TV International, for the wonderful show today. Mm -hmm.